All right, our second layer is going to be based largely upon the first layer. So you can see our first layer is large organic shapes and ovals, all right, but the large organic shapes. Our second la layer is going to be the same, okay? However, um, think about it in the terms of an oval extending across several shapes. And every time I create this new layer, I have to stop at layer one. So if I start here and draw a line that represents this large oval, I will stop here and continue here. Stop again, start again, so that I can finish here. Stop and then restart. So you see the shape superimposed upon these shapes that I did last time. Now, the, the layer is going to look the same. So I'm going to take this other line and just do a half moon shape and then stop because I want to create this layer where the puzzle pieces are coming close together without touching. It's the same principle as we did the first time. I'm going to continue on here and then come up and then curve in and then back down and then a half circle here. So you can match what I do okay? or you can go venture out on your own, but you're creating this second layer through the use of lines never crossing that first layer which we did last class. And this is going to cross all three. I go from here to here. So you can see that singular shape going through all the other three. But again, these lines are supposed to be close together. So I'm going to draw that shape there. Went a little bit off the line. Come here. This way. And I'll create one here that goes all the way up. And continues around like this. Through all of these shapes here. And try to create one more large one that goes through this one and then these other three. So you probably start pretty high, curve down, stop, pick it up again, curve up, stop, go through this one, stop, and then move up here to where I can wrap it around and it looks like it's touching on that side. And then I'm gonna just do one more slight curve here. And I'm gonna make one change up here where I'm going to curve this way and then I'm gonna curve this way. So you can do what you want on that layer, but about the, sh the shapes should be about the same size. If you go too small, remember we have two more layers to do and it won't be possible to fit everything in. So I have about three medium sized one, one large one here, and then some smaller ones. And it's the same kind of idea that I had the first time. First time I had eight forms. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, and then parts of about four more. So I'm still in that eight, to eight about eight range. Okay. All right, that's, that's step number one. That's, that's depicting your, your layer. And everybody's layer is going to look a little bit different, but again, make sure that you stop at the first layer and you kind of continue on. So it's like it's hidden okay, behind the other ones. I'm going to give you just a couple minutes to get caught up. And when you're done with that layer, type in the chat, say, I'm done. And by the same token, if you need more time, say, hold on.